All right, another power dev day, and I got these uh, lanterns here, these floating things here at your home base to um, <clears throat> heal the player of the current team. So basically, this is my base, and these pink things here will heal me slowly. See how I'm turning green? I took a little bit of damage from this guy fighting me here, and these green, these pink things are healing me slowly. Um, now, if I were in Green's base, um, I could basically just right, which is here, I could destroy all of these, and he wouldn't be able to heal anymore, which is um, kind of an interesting dynamic. I think this is this could really add a lot of fun to the game, because um, it's like, okay, cool, I can go like if if you find a player that's away from their base, you can go like kind of like feel sneaky, like you're destroying their base. Um, secondly, as a player, if you are low on health and you're looking for some way to heal up, you're running from another player, the things are really intense, you can run back to your base, hopefully no one's destroyed all your your pillars, your uh, healing things, and you would be able to heal up. Um, so, something worth trying. One thing I don't want to happen is that players to just sit in their base the entire time. Um, so that's a mechanic I need to work on. Like, is this, is that going to happen? And really it's kind of the thing where you just got to like, um, you know, you got to play the game in real life versus other people and see whether this actually, um, is something that where it creates a tendency to stay in your base too long. Um, I'm thinking there maybe is like some kind of force or maybe the level starts falling away as as time progresses maybe parts of the level just like the blocks just fall away and you can't walk a certain ways and eventually even your base falls away something like that just to pressure players to move um without taking too much time but maybe not maybe it's just fun to be able to have this healing element um so that said there's some of this camera rotation still a little bit wonky i need to work on this like i'm not sure what's happening here just noticing that as I'm talking here. But anyways, um, that's about it. Uh, really, the way this works mechanically is that these things have a little recharge distance so that they search within like 100 or so um, voxels of their um, of their current position. If they find a current, if they find a, um, a member of their team, they heal it. And, um, and you can't heal, you can't destroy your own um, blocks. So... Let's go show you these things in a little bit more detail. Um, whenever you're hurt, you turn red. Whenever you're healed, you turn green. And whenever you are invincible for a second, you turn white. So these things are turning white. That's representing that they are just invincible. Uh, they're invincible to my attacks because they're on my team. But if this... See, and now I'm healing a little bit because that guy hurt me. The healing is gr green. <clears throat> and when he hits me, I'm red. That means I'm getting hurt. And he's also hitting that one of my pillars right here. You can see that that thing turned red or turned red again. So that um, also makes it a lot clearer what's going on in the in the match. Like at a glance, without without really like um, having to rationally, consciously admit it or whatever, you just you're just sort of like seeing it all at a glance. You can take it in with more intuition of what's going on. So little things like this are really helping, especially without any sound effects. You notice I haven't added a single sound effect. The sound engine isn't even on yet in this game and it's really helped me to make sure all the visual effects are really just kind of dialed in there there you can feel what's going on without there being any sound and once sound is added it'll just be like a whole other world of awesome so there you have it another dev video making the game wraith binder from your old friend Ra wizard foo and that's it we'll catch you next time